what up youtube so in this video i'll be showing you zephyr like functionality for your ios 7 devices as you can see when i just swipe from the bottom of the screen you can access your multitasking tray and also if you want to close an application you just have to swipe from the bottom of the screen and the application will be closed now you might be thinking as the functionality of the control center might move away by installing this tweak but it's not like that you can access your control center through your notification center as you can see so it's a very best tweak as in my opinion for ios 7 and also this tweak is available under big boss repo for one dollar fifty cents so it's worth to buy the tweak for your i device after installing this tweak you can go into your settings option and reconfigure the multitasking gesture settings as you can see you you have switch app gesture where you can switch the uh, access your multitasking right from your application as you can see if you want to just uh, go towards the uh, swipe towards the right you can you'll be taken to the safari browser and the same vice versa the same implies with the switch app gesture enable it and uh, if you want to keep the action as a close application or activate switcher or both uh, it might help you to some extent as you can see if i just tap on this close application the, it's uh, the application will be closed and you can't access the multitasking gesture onto your i device but if i keep the both uh, the uh, at the same time your application will be closed and you can access your multitasking tray and uh, also uh, I'm just switching off this and also the keyboard uh, disability you can enable it uh, you can also restrict uh, this uh, tweak in some of the application as you want it and also the recognition area if you want to keep the control center towards the bottom and uh, access this tweak uh, on your iDevice you can keep as left half or right half and also you can access this tweak along with the uh, control center and as, as I have said already, uh, the control center functionality has been moving to no notification center. So if you don't want that to happen, you can you just have to disable it and respring your device, and the control center functionality will be it will be again will be implemented onto your i device. So it's a very nice tweak, must have tweak uh, for all the i device users. So for um, and enabling the multitasking gestures on your phone you don't have to press your home button continuously or even uh, for exiting an application you don't have to use your home button so hope you guys like my video find my video please do comment subscribe hit the like button and do follow me on facebook twitter instagram and also if you like the if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and also do follow me on twitter for latest tech news and also my latest videos that i'll be posting on youtube Till then, I'll be seeing you in my next video.